Every single photo uploaded to the internet nowadays has been edited in some way. Whether this is a puppy face from Snapchat or a filter from Instagram, or maybe even manipulated using more professional methods. Firstly, let's take a look at how the magazine covers have changed over the years. It's not only women's magazines that have changed over the years. Let's take a look at some of the men's. Magazine covers have a big impact on the public. For a lot of people, the models they see on magazines and various forms of media are their idols. Has this use of editing set standards and expectations too high? Um, do you feel that like, software such as Photoshop is giving people like, too high standards to set themselves? Uh, yes, yeah, sort of. Why do you think this? What do you mean? Like? As in like, for example, when people go and see a magazine, like they see the cover, do you feel that like then leads to people thinking, right, well, I need to look like this? Yeah. Because and it, um, like, it draws them into it because they think other girls can look better, like other girls, guys can look better than them. So they're probably thinking, oh, I want to look like that. And yeah. So like intrigued, just like if people get like plastic surgery and that, I want to look like that, if you know what I mean. Um, and finally, do you feel that the existence of like Photoshop, softwares like that, has had a good or bad effect on like social expectation? Um, bad, because I think it's influencing other people to make themselves not look natural, make themselves fit with them out. Like, so when you go out and everything, if like people don't recognise you how like how you look, they only recognise you with filters on. Uh, my name's Anthony, uh, I'm the Senior Creative Retoucher at Born Group UK. Um, I'm a photo manipulation artist, uh, digital photo retoucher um, and um, photo manipulation artist have been for many years now. Um, with each generation of Photoshop that comes out it gets better, it gets easier, it makes my life um, better, it allows me more creative uh, license to do more and more things. It makes, you know, it makes making incredible images even easier. Um, but do I think it specifically it's changed the way that models are retouched without doubt? Yes, um, you know, everyone seems to these days look for the, can we have the very natural feel? No one wants to look as if their images have been retouched. So the way that Photoshop has evolved has actually made it easier for me now to make it look as if all of these images haven't been retouched, which is why, you know, going back to question two, it's, it's very morally uh, uh, difficult because we can almost make it look impossible to see whether a model has been airbrushed or not so it's very very hard to tell these days whether any work has been done so yes the evolution of photoshop has changed the way that models uh, are retouched but it's, it's changed the way that everything is retouched every image uh, across the board and it allows us to put better content out there now so you know um it's a double-edged sword in many ways but for me yeah it's uh, it has changed uh, the way that everything is retouched but it and models as well um as you can see, the editing process has become easier and easier over the years, allowing people with less knowledge to be able to edit as well as some with a vast knowledge. Here is a photo I grabbed off the internet. I then put this into Photoshop and had a go airbrush myself. This shows that someone with no knowledge whatsoever on the matter is able to do a decent job using the software. Do you feel that when Photoshop or like software such as that are used when selling products, whether it's clothing, food, whatever. Do you feel like that is misleading and why? Um, yeah, I think it is slightly misleading. I think because most of the general population aren't actually fabulous looking like um, they are once they're photoshopped. So I think it's not necessary. The use of photo brushing is necessary when seeing clothes. Yes, I do. Uh, just briefly is that um, Right now, uh, as we come up to summer, um, the winter collections will be being manufactured uh, around the world. So small samples, only small samples, will be available uh, to certain uh, to certain people. So they will say, yes, we want this coat, but they haven't put a million of them into, pro into production yet. They've only put 10 into production. They've obviously got to go around the world and be shown to the buyers and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So when these go, you know, in the, in the next couple of weeks, 
a lot of the clothes manufacturers and clothes companies will be going out to do their winter photo shoots uh, and we'll be retouching them over the next couple of months coming up ready for the winter uh, the winter campaign so you know there will only be certain uh, sizes available so you know they'll take X amount of clothes on the photo shoot and they'll have to be pinned. You know, we do that a lot with bulldog clips. So the t-shirts don't fit. What they tend to do is fold them over and bulldog clip them in the corners and we remove all the clips all the way down. So yeah, there are legitimate reasons that fashion um, fashion retouching is required. And you know, for the manufacturer and for the online retailers, it's critical for them that, uh, that their garments look proper and they look perfect. I don't really have a problem with that. Um, there are legitimate reasons, like I said, that, that you know, clothes and fashion retouching is done in a certain way and done in the way it is. So James has also asked me, do I believe that the use of Photoshop on products to uh, make them look better is misleading? Um, we, it's brief, it's quick, this one, we don't do that. We can't do that. You cannot manipulate a, um, a product to look like what it doesn't and sell it to someone. It's against the law, it's illegal. Um, you know, you will get caught out. Uh, manufacturers will get caught out if, if you know, if it's, a, if it's a board game or something and you retouch something on the front that isn't in the board game or isn't there, it doesn't look like the product that you're buying. You know, you're not allowed to do that. So as much as we bend the rules and we make things look beautiful and pretty and, and lovely and, and give it the kind of, um, the, the ex, the, the lifestyle kind of scene that you'd like to believe uh, it, it really exists in. Um, no, we don't. We don't actually change things to, to be different to what they what they are actually being sold. What effect do you think that Photoshop has had on like teenagers, like boys and girls? Yeah, a bit of a detrimental one to be honest. I think like the younger kids, are, especially the girls, are trying to emulate like these. Uh, size eight size six models and you know try wearing a lot of makeup and yeah kind of a bit of a misleading thing really do you feel that photoshop and like softwares like that has had a positive or negative effect on like social expectations and like do you feel like it's making people set like too high a standards for themselves no because i think i think people should take pride in their appearance and I don't know, you can look at it two ways. Um, I think a lot of pressure nowadays is on a lot of teenagers to look good. And I myself have suffered from an eating disorder. But I do think nowadays people force this image thing for people to look good and to, do you, un, do you know what I'm, where I'm coming from? And I just think there's too much pressure on to look good these days when you don't necessarily have to be. What effect do you feel that Photoshop, software like that, have had on like teenagers nowadays? I think it puts more pressure on them to look like people, like people think they should look rather than how they actually have gone away from the natural look. Overall, do you feel that softwares like this have had a positive or negative effect on like social expectations and like standards? Yeah, I haven't really given it a lot of thought, but I think there is more pressure on younger people, particularly girls, to look a certain way. Overall, do you feel that Photoshop has a, a positive or negative effect on like social expectations? And yeah, no, negative. I'd say negative. But I think the best policy is to be natural. So James has said, do I think that Photoshop has given women an unrealistic view um, of, of what they look like and, and what they are trying to attain? Um, and yes, uh, the simple answer to that and the brutal and blunt answer is yes, Photoshop um, goes a long, long way to misleading young girls into thinking that everyone and everything is perfect in every way, um, every minute of every day, uh, and that just isn't true. Um, you know, you, you can be uh, a star, a very famous multi-millionaire star and have teams and teams of um, uh, makeup artists, stylists, you know, uh, uh, fitness uh, personnel around you to keep you looking in, in top shape all the time, but yet still, um, I, I will guarantee you uh, that every single one of those pictures taking of those, uh, of those girls, especially the close-up portraits and, and full body shots will always 100% without doubt be retouched. Um, in fact, you know, there isn't a, a photo in printed media or, uh, or or anywhere really that hasn't been manipulated. You know, there are teams and teams of, of retouches up and down the country continually, up 
people down the country, all over the world, um, continually retouching all day, every day. Every single image that gets taken by a camera gets retouched before it gets put on whatever social media site, whatever uh, printed media, whatever you know, where, wherever it may be going, it gets um, it gets retouched. Uh, whether it be you know green green grass and blue skies, all the way up to you know completely um, changing the way that someone's face looks. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a sad. It's a sad fact of life. Um, you know, does it sit well with me ethically? Uh, not particularly. As you can see, many people have different views on this topic. Mine is that often photo manipulation softwares are misused and have a massive impact on people's expectations for themselves. It is apparent that nowadays there is nothing more important than a person's public image.